So vectors, we generally write them out like so. So we have um, what the vector is equal to plus its i component, its j component, and its k component. Um, you can also represent them as like color matrix matrices um, or, you know, the bold letter that we've talked about. Um, and whenever it starts and ends at a certain point, we can have those point in capitals and then do an arrow above them. So, you know, um, in this example here, it's like starting at A, ends at B. We can do A to B. Um, I, that's how I think about it. Like, you know, the, the tail of the arrow is at A and the head of the arrow is at B. So it's going from A to B. Um, another thing, it's probably talked about in the next slide. Um, yeah, it's going to talk about um, direction components and unit vectors. So, um, okay, maybe not unit vectors yet. So i, j, and k are all unit vectors. Um, if we draw them out um, in columns, so if you guys don't remember, a unit vector is going to be something, is a vector of length one, of magnitude one. So i is just one in the x component and zero everywhere else. j is going to be zero, one, and then zero and like so on for k i can't be bothered drawing it out sorry um but yeah it's going to be zero zero one that's all um and so what's being the things that are being multiplied here are going to be scalars they're just scalar numbers um so you know they're, they're just simple numbers like five six seven eight nine ten um and the reason that they're there is they're changing the length of these unit vectors to make our overall vector if that makes sense. Um, I'm just going to switch back to the laser pointer here. So yeah, i, j, and k are direction components. i tells us things in the x-axis, j tells us things in the y-axis, and k tells us things in the z-axis. So um, I've already sort of talked about that. You know, oh, I wrote an x. Should have been an i. Um, this i should not be confused with the complex number i as well, um, hence why there's, you know, the, the arrows on top. I'm just going to switch back to laser pointer. All right. So position vectors are a special type of vector. Um, they start with their tail on the origin and their head somewhere else. So um, the or origin is always going to be represented as O, usually. So if I um, create some vector from O and I go to P, um, this is going to be the position vector OP. Um, vectors can go anywhere as long as they have, um, you know, the same magnitude and direction. So I might have a vector like this. Technically, it's equal to OP. It's just showing a change in a different position. Um, it might have the same components um but yeah but like different subtractions um it'll probably make a bit more sense when we go into that in more detail um and we actually start doing a couple calculations but yeah um try think of vectors as like changing things um or things that show change in position or change in something um easiest way to think about it is showing change in position on three-dimensional aerial all right um just whenever we, um, whenever we're doing um, the vector addition, um, just make sure we connect head to tail, and same concept with subtraction. So let's say also this is the tail as I was talking about. It's just drawn out a little bit better here. All right. So let's say we have two vectors a and vector b, um, and we want to add them together. Um, the addition is going to be this line that goes from the tail of a to the head of B. Um, you can see we've shifted across, right? This B has gone from here to here. Um, but what you'll notice, or, or what should be true in this case, is that the length and the direction of B has not changed. So it's the same vector, regardless of if it's here or if it's there, it's the same vector. Okay, so now we go, we go um, at the, we start at the tail of the first vector and we follow it to the head of the next vector. And then we draw this line that connects them. And this is our new vector. Um, and that's its direction that it's going to be facing. 
um, and we write it out as a plus b. Again, um, direction, magnitude, same, means it's the same vector. Um, with subtraction, it's the same concept, but what we're going to do here is we're going to reverse that negative vector. Um, maybe you guys remember this, but um, let's talk about doing, let's say, you know, same thing again. Actually, I'm not going to draw that out because it's sort of already drawn in. So let's say we're, um, we're considering the same two vectors, um, a and b, but in this this time we want to do a minus b. Um, what's nifty is that we can switch this to a plus in brackets minus b. All right, so what does a minus mean in terms of vectors? If I was to multiply, you know, a full vector by negatives, what, what would but what, what would that happen to its direction? All right, so let's try figure that out. Let's say I get r, my vector r, and I put a negative in front of every single thing here. Um, did you guys have a, uh, a thought about what that would, you know, what's going to happen here if I multiply a vector by a negative one? Um, you know what? I'll create a poll as well. It's one of those free word polls as well. Um, I'm going to create one, create new poll, world, world cloud, what happens when I apply a vector by negative one. All right. Um, I'll let you guys have a quick go at answering this. Um, and then we'll dive into the answer. Nice, so basically everyone got it. Um, good stuff. Um, I'm probably gonna stop the poll now, um, but yeah, thanks to everyone who answered. Um, and if you do say reverse the direction, you're correct. Um, Multiplying it by negative one reverses the opposite direction. Um, probably can't answer on this, but um, have a think as to why. Um, maybe someone can write up a quick justification um, and send it on this. Um, but why why does multiplying a vector by negative one cause a reverse in direction? Um, I'll let you guys have a think about that. Um, but while you're having a think about it, think about that. Um, I'll sort of talk about it as well. All right, so let's say I have some vector. Okay, that was, let's ignore this part of the graph. Um, let's say I have some vector. I'm um, going from, I'm just going to change the color. Let's say it's going from A to B. So we'll say this is A, and we'll say this is B. Let's say my vector is, I don't know, make it pretty simplistic. So X. And y only. Um, I don't really want to get the k involved now, just because it's annoying for drawing it out in visualization. Um, oh, I'll also have to show you guys a neat trick um, later on. It's more physics-y, but it is a neat trick nonetheless. Um, okay, so we have a vector going from a to b, um, but what happens when, you know, what would negative a to b look like, right? Um, and, you know, if we're struggling to visualize what that would look like, um, even though we sort of already know the answer from that poll. Um, it's going to be just flipped. So it's like this. Um, uh, okay. But what happens to every single component in it? Well, so we'll have the component x, xi. Um, I'm not going to bother drawing in the, the arrows or the tilters just for time. Um, also, I'm lazy, um, but yeah, please draw them in when you guys do this. It's just annoying to draw things on the mouse pad. Okay, so we have xi, yj, plus zk. Um, but in this case, z is zero, so it doesn't really matter. Um, that's going to not exist. So we've just got xi and yj. All right, um, let's say this... 
is not going to be x, um, just because this is not a unit vector. Um, I could, or not a unit vector, a position vector. Um, it might be easier if I do make it a position vector, but that, that's that's fine. Um, and so this is going to be some number, you know. Um, I'm going to call it. I don't know. Um, I don't know. We'll call it theta. And the y coordinate is going to be something like I don't know, something lame. C. Okay. So what this, what x and y are, right? is the difference between the coordinates of a, so maybe, um, you know, ax and ya, um, and we're subtracting that from the coordinates of um, bx or or c and theta, right? So we'll say this one's, like, coordinates are xa and ya. Um, so x, a, um, y, a. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, to find this x and this y. Um, it's just the change in, you know, that coordinate, right? So what what this is, is going to be, we're, we're going from a to b, right? So it's going to be xa minus theta. Um, and, well, actually, it's going to be theta minus xa, sorry. Um, it's always final minus initial. Um, and then this one here, this y here is going to be c minus ya, right? So write that out. So theta minus xa um, and c minus ya. Okay, that's what happens when they're positive. But if I put a negative in front of them, I'm going to flip them around, right? So now this is going to become xa minus theta, and this is going to be ya minus c. So then, because we're going, you know, since we're always following the rule of final minus initial, which is generally the rule for change, um, I'm just going to write change as delta, um, which is what it usually is in physics. Um, so change is always final minus initial. And so now instead of, you know, our final position being B, our final position is now going to be A when we multiply this by a negative. So we're just chucking a negative out of the front here, um, which is why the direction switches. Um, sorry, I probably could have made that a little bit more concise, um, but... That's another thing I sort of um, want you guys to take away from this. If you came to the methods lectures, you've probably heard me say this a million times before. Um, maths, it's really important, you know, apart from just grinding out questions, it's really important to to ask ourselves why. Whenever someone tells us something, um, it's important to um, figure out why. Um, and, you know, it ultimately builds your understanding of the concept. Um, I'm just going to quickly end this poll. Um, but yeah, nice. Everyone got this right. I'm just going to end that one there. Um, Alrighty, I'll talk about these questions in a squiz. Um, okay. Uh, well, I'll just check how long until the break. We have a decent amount of time till the break. Um, but yeah. I'll, I'll make sure I answer all those questions um, during the break. Okay, so um, let's go back to subtraction. So I want to do um, tilde A plus minus well, vector B, right? Um, so all I have to do here is I'm just going the other way now. Same stuff, just the other way. So A tilde B. And that's going to be Um, I'll probably shift it like this, right? So this is a, oh, actually, no. Um, another thing is that you need to sort of make sure that they're pointing in the same general direction. So that's why this would not work there. Um, oh, this is already pointing in the same direction. That's fine. Um, nice. It's going to be minus B. Um, so I want to create the line, um, from here. So that's the direction of the new vector. And all I do with the components is that I multiply the components of B by negative one, and then I just sum them together. Um, so like terms. So all the I components with the I components, you get J components with the J components, and the K components with the K components. Um, it's just really that simple. 